Girl, I never thought we would be sitting here feeling bad and sorry for Blueface. My love is your own letting go from on the web. We have culture, conversation, and community. Y'all, I'm about to slow that down, y'all. Hold me to it. As always, I'm coming to you all with a Zeus Network, Crazy in Love, Blue Face, and Krishan Rock show. Y'all, let's just hop right into it. I've been going for a minute, but I'm back in the jump off. Okay, goons in the squad, in case something pop off, however that lyric goes. And I know how I do, I hop right in. So let's just get into it. Zeus gives us that recap like they always do. Okay, keeping it, you know, on par. And, you know, Krishan is in a car crying. That's the first opening scene. And I'm like, you know, surprise, surprise. Are we surprised? <laughs> Are we surprised? Then she sees her family. She sees her family off. She's happy. She got her weed. And, you know, she's on her way back to, um, um, she's in the car. She's talking to her assistant and talking about some of the stuff that Blue was saying that he took too many L's dealing with her. And he's tired of taking the L. He's like, you got all the L's you, all the L's I took. I lost a whole tooth behind you. And I just feel like he may feel indebted to her <clears throat> and it lets me know that he is aware of his downfall and she, it lets me also know that she feels invested in his lifestyle as well because he's like she's like you took else i took else too even more reason why we should stay together which wrong way to, to do things if you are in a relationship right now that's not how y'all tally it up don't use that as your bar of judgment on whether or not you should stay or leave a relationship in real life y'all in real life she starts talking about the things that he was just saying as far as you know calling her grandmama b um you know you call my grandmama b who does that or whatever the case and i'm just like you y'all did that to each other like y'all i don't care about him calling your grandmama b you messed around and it's just too much like that like i feel like once you step past the threshold of doing xyz the other things no longer matter. So what he got your grandmama be? He, you punched, you punch, you you beat up his mom. You know he punched your dad. Like too much has happened and, and gone on for um for her to be like you know oh you did this and I did this. Like y'all y'all are way past that point and that's unfortunate for those type of relationships because they can can just continue to spiral i just want to say this right here y'all um this show this is what probably why i'm a little bit distracted when i watched this energetically i felt weird after the fact it was heavy and it's like i don't want to sit here and watch this abusive ass ugly ass shit like you know it's it's just not cute it's not a good look i don't feel good watching it after the fact yes the fighting boss one was a little entertaining but when you think about it and you pull it back a little bit not that entertaining I got enough dysfunction in my own damn family, okay? Um, I got enough dysfunction in my own damn relationship. Well, let me not just say it all like that, cause you know, child, it could be worse. And I'm trying to, I'm trying to up what I say, cause you know, we have to fix in here, y'all, okay? But y'all get what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. It's just, it's just not giving what I thought I would give. What it thought, what I thought it would give was what I'm trying to say. It's just like, it's a little too heavy. It's a little too heavy. Then she says, you know, we they, they leave Oklahoma. She goes immediately to the house. You know, she gets stressed. She's like, I'm about to meet my husband for the night. And her and her assistant, like, you ain't about to meet your husband at no club. Where she like, yeah, I think I'm finna meet him tonight. Like, no, you're not. No, you're not, girl. I mean, I'm not saying that you can't really meet your soulmate in a club. Because I know it's, it's going to be somebody out there. I met my husband 20 years ago at, at Jack's, Jack's and Wax Boom Boom Room. And we've been together for 20 years. Well, good for you, Grandma. But most people ain't, ain't, yeah, you might meet your baby daddy. Now, you might meet your baby daddy at the club. But you nine times out of ten ain't meeting your husband at no club. You get what I'm saying? And she's like, yeah, I might just meet him. Delusional, delusional queen. It just lets me know, like, she, she just, you know, whatever. So she's getting dressed immediately. She, like, she's putting it on, like, real quick. She's doing her makeup in the car. And that just lets me know, like, that tit for tat stuff. Like, he's out, so let me hurry up and go out, even though I'm fresh off a flight, fresh off a court case, didn't even have enough time to put my makeup on. But I just need to make it a point so I can go on social media and post and let you know that I'm outside. I'm not thinking about you. But the whole time, me me moving in the way that I'm moving is based off of your action to begin with. Um, high school juvenile, been there, done that. Don't need to show about it but that's what it was given then she pulls up to one spot it was closing down the fan wants the picture she was like oh my gosh Krishan, it was cute because it's like yeah you kind of forget that she is such a likable person and seeing her in this way and surprisingly i feel bad for blue face and i'm gonna tell y'all why later on in this video so 
she's getting pictures with the girls and you know she seems like you know she's good this i think this was the night that she was acting all freaky and fake freaky with dj sky performative very performative gay <laughs> you know how y'all know you know how you girls do so um anyway they're outside the club she's like i'm gonna buy these roses for myself and she's like oh i'm not buying these roses for myself throw them to her assistant she kisses dj sky um you know she's still getting pictures and stuff and whole time she I, you can look at it until she was doing that to get a reaction out of um blue face which in the next scene, you know, is the next morning. She's in the car. Um, she's sitting in his car. And he's like, yo, get the camera. And the camera's like right on her. Yeah, you acting like a little bitch. He was saying it hard. So I'm not, I'm going to say it one time. like a little bitch. But I ain't saying it no more because, you know, y'all already know how much YouTube do. So he's like, yeah, you know why I'm sitting outside? You see my head? You see the back of my head? I'm just going to put a paper tie there because I'm, I'm going to thug it out. You get what I'm saying? Because I have N-U-T-S, girl, not me forgetting oh uh, because i got n-u-t-s and they hang and you want to act like a man one minute you a man one minute you're a woman you need to figure it out now you want to act you want to sit in the car and cry why don't you get out and cry? why blue i just want to sit in the car I just i just can sit in the car no no you need to get out this is what he was saying yeah y'all get her in the car acting like a little bi that's see that's why you're in the car because you crying your feelings is hurt i have to deal with it so apparently they got into a little tussle and she done cracks a piece of glass over her hand she has some blood on her hand and i don't think it was her blood and i think it was his blood or it may have been her blood from hitting him with this glass thing it was a nice gash um he goes inside he all out of it losing blood <laughs> she got a concussion and a headache mixed in together and um you know he's she doesn't get out the car uh then her assistant comes then he gets out the car starts talking to her gets her in the house and she wants to talk to her friend tiny or the cousin tiny and it's just like she just reminds me of like a little imp you know what i mean or like she's gravitated to him in this way and he loves her so he doesn't know how to separate himself and she, she's like babe babe and he's like what what is it <laughs> like you know what i'm saying he's like why'd you call me a bitch or whatever the case and she was just like no oh, i don't want to talk about that i don't want to beef i don't want to talk about it you don't want to talk about it now, but like, you know, let's have the conversation. And that's the thing that kills me with people when they result to physical violence. It's one thing to be able to protect yourself and, you know, check if needed, but also be able to have the conversation because if it's like, oh, if I can't express myself and I'm frustrated, then my initial reaction is to hit you. And that's really just like, think about a child. You say, no, you can't have this piece of candy. And they fall out. They do all this physical stuff with their body. It's because they, they don't have the words to verbalize how they're feeling. There's no difference. It's a tantrum, sis. Or or bro, if y'all or if you can relate to this, work on your communication skills. That's that is a real piece of um viable information that you're gonna be you're gonna need in life to navigate and also too that you want to pass down to your brothers and sisters your children your auntie your niece whatever the case um because once you get 35 45 it ain't gonna be like oh yeah i don't like this i'm popping off now you could be like that sitting in the project somewhere but most times most people ain't trying to fit in you know be living like that so um they're sitting there she looks she looks scuffed scuffled up too her eye look a little bruised up I feel like Zeus was doing a good job of trying to get her at a certain angle. She had her glasses on for a minute. Um, but Zeus, I don't know. I, I, I could do without seeing um, an abusive couple, a toxic couple being paraded in this way. And y'all know it's a whole bunch of young girls that like to see that stuff. And when they get into a relationship that it turns physical, they think that, oh, this is just a part of our journey when it doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be like let's normalize. Not oh we black and we fight and we do. You don't you don't need to be fighting with your with your with your guy. This is your protector. Like come on, I ain't into it. Again, this is the type of this is how I'm reviewing the show because this is the type of things that come to my mind when I watch this type of ugliness. It's ugly. So you know he's just like you kissing you kissing chicks is no different than you know me kissing chicks or whatever it's the, it's the double standard you can kiss somebody i can't kiss somebody so it was given that he was mad that he was she got the reaction that she wanted out of him which is why they got into this fight is <laughs> is really what it seems like and she's trying to get the glass out it's like it's like i'm not going to no hospital i'm not going to no hospital which is typical black male stuff they never want to go to the hospital take care of themselves and um you know so she's like uh well i'm gonna get the glass out your head babe i'm gonna get the glass out your head she's just he's just sitting there letting her do it and he's trying to she's trying to fake clean him up she's trying to get the glass out of his head with the vacuum cleaner y'all 
a regular vacuum cleaner like she doesn't even know the worst where's the thing where the attachment she's like where's that thing like really you trying to suck the glass out with with an with a vacuum cleaner you're just gonna sit here and it's just weird like what are you doing and end up um deciding to go to the hospital and she's just rubbing on him and rubbing on him and i guess you start this is the way that they communicate which lets me know that blue face saw a lot of violence growing up because he thinks it's okay um so does she because she's like responding in a very calm way um just a mess yeah so you know he goes to the hospital nothing happens um she, he said that he and he not he didn't get the he couldn't get stitches they had to get staples because you get staple your head, your head get open i don't know if y'all know that or not but he said he wasn't getting the staples whack 100 calls and he's like yeah nephew i'm about to come pull up i'm about to come see you and he's like, what's going on? And Krishan, she's like, <laughs> all weird. Like, uh, Wack is coming on. Why is he coming over here? You know, I don't like him. She's getting a little frantic about it. Um, she eavesdrops in the conversation. And he's like, every time, you know, we need to be in the studio. It's like, I'm getting phone calls from TMZ. We, you know, you got five cases. We beat three. We don't need two more. Um, you know, Blueface, they all talk real low like this. Like, I just don't know. You know what I'm saying? Player, because we have to just keep this shit player. you are probably going to hear me mumbling because my baby, she's going off or whatever the case. But, you know, I got to go get her. You know, I know somebody going to be like, you need a babysitter, girl. I can't get no babysitter, girl, because I don't trust somebody with my kids. So, I'm just trying to make it work. You know what I mean? Like, he talks like that. So... He's like, yeah, we're going to be at the studio, come solo, and he does not come solo. He goes to the studio, and, you know, Krishan is there. It's a party or whatever. They got the food. They chilling. Come on, babe. Let's smoke. Come on, babe. Like, it's just, you can just see the attachment. You can see the love that she missed as a child and the way that she's so attached to the man. And him as well. Oh, the mom. I seen a little piece of video of Carlisa child on Tasha K's platform. And I don't know what to make of it. I see that she did a real, real disservice with her sons. Um. Anyway, he she talks to Wack 100. And he's just like, yeah, yeah. Your career is going up and his career is going down and the money. And she's like, I don't care about none of that. And I really do feel like Krishan does not care about any of that. Like, if he loses it all, that's even better for her because now she can be the breadwinner and she can really have him for forever. Or if they really just go back to living a regular life, she'll be fine for that and fighting regular bees. Because just because the well, guy got money don't mean that he's still not going to be cheating. Think about all the regular Douglas that's out here cheating right now. You still want to fight and carry on over a guy. So, all in all, this episode was ugly. And one word um energetically i felt drained i felt a little emotional like damn like these are young kids who just didn't have it and now they're trying to show up broken in this relationship like, they're not even trying to show up they are broken in this relationship and they are they're broken pieces sometimes just don't fit and it just comes out in this real ugly way but i'm not saying that the love isn't real but you can only love to the capacity that you were shown you know and obviously they, they they missed some stuff so you know shout out to to them shout out to y'all shout out to us because relationships are not easy when you have it together <laughs> let's start there right anyway um like this video if you like the review and commentary it's more like commentary less of a review this time around but you know what it is what it is you know girl you know how you gotta do it sometimes as always i'm sending you much love and much light and i will see you in the next video peace